All the flavours of the sea were out for people to savour on Saturday. Power, white bait and prawns were just some of the food for all to sample. And despite more than 6,000 people showing up, there was plenty of food to go around at the truly unique festival. Well, I mean, it's one of the few festivals where you'd ever have it on site, so it's still a working port. You can look across the wharf and they're lifting containers. You've got a log boat still loading and getting set to sail. Um, that's pretty unique. I mean, Otago's really lucky as a region. It's got, with the colder climate, it's actually a bonus for all the fresh fish, so we're incredibly blessed down here. With the festival being held out of town, people made their way to the event in a variety of ways. Some caught boats, others went by train, with the majority getting a free shuttle to and from town. And with food celebrities such as Al Brown and Judith Cullen in attendance, it was an opportunity for many businesses to show off their creations. However, the most important aspect of the day was the taste. Uh, I think crayfish is an absolute just must for most people. Those queues have been the longest. So crayfish, white bait patties, power patties. That's what people are here for. It's that, um, that sort of fish that you don't usually get. It's a treat. The event also catered to a full family day out. Kids were kept busy with pirate shows, face painting and a fishing competition. However, there were a few other food options for kids who had not grown to love seafood quite yet. Um, the donuts probably. <laughs> yeah, the donuts were good. Organisers were already fishing for ideas to make the next festival in 2015 bigger and better than ever, with these punters set to take the bait. John McKenzie, 39, Dunedin News.